YouTube so I am gonna show you guys a quick overview of my vanity um, I will do a separate video of my actual vanity and its contents but right now this is gonna be room tour and I'm pointing at that clock because I'm showing you guys that I got it at Marshall's so I hope you guys enjoy I'm actually gonna start with the storage unit right here. Um, I pretty much got everything from Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Marshalls. I'm not gonna repeat myself again, so that's literally where I got everything from. Okay. So over here, I have some gold detailings and some art pieces. I have my degree holder because I actually framed my certificate because bish, that was expensive, okay? And then I have this little sugar skull that I got from Jitsunitsa. Uh, and yeah, when I saw like El Castillo and everything. And then I have me and TY over here in this picture frame. So up there is some mixed metals and I love arrows so I had to incorporate that somewhere in my wall collage. I will say that I have paint on me because I literally painted my <laughs> my vanity table so yeah I'm very extra and I have painted this long time ago I just retouched it so yeah I painted that myself I also got this nail polish rack a while ago from a youtuber she does not make these anymore so I'm definitely not gonna <laughs> tell you guys where I got this but I'm sure you can find this somewhere else uh, I'll still link the video down below if you guys are interested in watching where I got this from in the unboxing also have my little corner here on top of my drawer i have a picture frame and this eiffel tower uh that picture frame has like this i don't know a picture of some random girl i got it when i used to work at victoria's secret so i just ended up framing it <laughs> and then this holiday um, collection from kylie some greenery and my degree in communications media and theater And I have these black beautiful curtains that can cover the EC if ever I wanted to cover it and just have some more privacy. Uh, but I do have blinds, but you know, curtains is more luxurious, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty cute. And yeah, this is just an overview of my bed. But the one thing, or I guess the two things that I'm going to point out is just these side tables. I actually got them from Walmart and they're somewhat cheap I think they're like 30 to 20 something bucks um, but yeah Walmart good place to go I have art pieces everywhere and this is actually one of my favorite I love everything stripes and black and gold and this is actually what's on top of my side table it's just me and TY and yeah we're cute <laughs> a little greenery and then I have my lamp and some stuff on top on my lazy days I usually use this uh, it's just like a whole bunch of cotton pads with my Escanol so if I ever want to wash my makeup off this is great uh, and it just washes everything off I love it it's kind of just like a facial toner And then I have stuff like my Bible in my drawer and just like literally random stuff and some book that my cousin gave me. Crystal, hello. This is actually like a facial massage thing. I got it online, it was really random. And then I have my MacBook on the side, a lot of throw pillows that is actually on the ground mostly every night <laughs> and then here's another art piece right in the center of my bed and I love it love it love it it's super cute and then I got this Anubis looking thing Egyptian modern I don't know I just thought it was really neat so I just put it on top of my bed it is raw and dope so yeah so as you can tell I love Paris I love the Eiffel Tower and then I have a royal crown, love gold detailing. So this is pretty much TY's side table. Uh, very boring, just some art and his drawer content, meh. 
I just hang a bunch of stuff on here, so please don't mind it. We are in the process of moving. Do not mind the mess. And this side of the wall, I have another art piece and the side chair that my cousin Crystal also gave me. And it is beautiful. And then I actually made this like, I didn't make that thing, but I made this candle with a whole bunch of leaves falling down. It's just a DIY. I literally just stuck it in the candle. <laughs> I just came back from a trip, so I'm actually leaving that out, so don't mind that. And then this is my walk-in closet, which is really ratchet AF because the rods literally are broken. <laughs> right when we moved in, they freaking broke, so not our problem. Anyways, this is just my side on the left and TY side on the right. And when I say rods, I mean it's my closet rods where I hang my clothes. Color, but yeah, literally both of, both of ours are broken, which is really ratchet. Anyways, this is my cluster side on the left, and I got this again. I don't know, Marshall's Ross, <laughs> and this oh my gosh, this beautiful mirror, super gorge. And this is just in this perspective. Uh, we actually got these drawers, mine's ratchet, <laughs> from Ikea. I broke mine, but I tried fixing it. I totally failed. Anyways, yeah, this is just where I keep my jewelry. Um, I have way too much. Like, I need to get rid of majority of them. But yeah, that's it. I'm trying to live a minimal life and it's still not working. I'm slowly getting there, you guys. Slowly getting there. So that's pretty much it you guys. You guys already know the theme of my room is black, gold, and white. I actually use Pinterest as an inspiration. I just started liking some stuff and I found out that I really like black, white, and gold. <laughs> so definitely use apps like Pinterest because it's literally like a dream board. It's inspirations that you can use for future projects and make it into a reality. I've learned one thing about you know creating a space is that it takes time and patience and don't just go and buy things out of impulse it takes time literally it's like a treasure hunt and you might be actually going back to the store one twice or three times but it's definitely well worth it once you find that piece so yeah just pretty much expect less from others and expect more from your sale okay yeah, we're not Yeah.